Hey guys, this is Pariah and you're watching Blank TV. Dangerous music for dangerous people. What up? Hey Blank TV, we're at Fallen Fortress Open Air, Bad Durkheim, Germany, and we're sitting with the Pariah. Hi guys, thank you so much for taking your time and uh, for sitting down with us. So, you just got off the stage. How was it? Uh, what are your feelings? Is this your first time at the festival? And uh, generally, what's up? <laughs> um, uh, we're feeling definitely it's warm in here because we have like 38 degree and um, but the show was was great. It was awesome. It was we were the second band today, and there were already like I don't know how many people. I'm very bad at counting, so <laughs> at least 50 people, and I, I think everyone had fun. So it was perfect. Yeah. Awesome. awesome. Um, you guys released your first full length, No Truth, in 2008, right? 18, not eight. Yeah. That was the, <laughs> wow. Um, that long ago. Uh, so how has 2019 been for you so far what like any highlights anything you've guys done that you're so proud of that you said yes yes uh, maybe one of yeah. the other uh yeah we we actually played a few shows in spring with uh, watch me rise which are good friends of us right now after having spent a lot of days with them obviously and um yeah it was our first real like tour thing we've ever done so it was kind of new and i think now we're ready to to maybe do more and or maybe play more shows in a row or maybe ready to rock, ready to rock. <laughs> yeah i think that's it yeah okay awesome awesome um so i know that you guys had an ep out before you put out the note truth right um so what i want to ask is like how has the working process been on your first full length so like did you guys do anything different did you experiment a bit more or how how did it come together yeah the main difference sounds um, a bit stupid but we got a we got a computer in our practicing room and uh, when we wrote the EP we actually didn't have um, the opportunity to record songs and to pre-produce them by ourselves so we just had to jam until the song was ready and with this computer in our practicing room we had the uh, chance to like record songs before we get into the studio and then change parts around and all that stuff and um, that's a huge difference in writing music <laughs> so yeah in the year 2018 we first got our uh, computer <laughs> always forward thinking <laughs> um, you guys have uh, <laughs> future is now um, you guys have two features on your album, Brandon from Counterparts on uh, Searched, was it? Yeah. yeah, and then Tobias from Alaska on Regression. Yeah. So um, how was working with them? Like, did, did they have their inputs on their parts or did you guys have a vision of how you wanted them to perform and how you wanted them their parts to be? So like, how was this exchange? Because I know Alaska is German band, but how was it working with, for example, Brandon, who is not in Germany, right? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, when it comes to Toby from Alaska, he's been a f friend for years. years now because he's from the same area as we are. And uh, Mitch, our guitar player, has been in a, in a band with him before. And it was like, yeah, all right, we, we have that song. Maybe you'd be interested in yelling on this track. And he <laughs> decided to do it. And uh, yeah, we, we obviously try to give him a, a certain yeah, more violent, aggressive spot on the album because his voice is obviously a bit like more aggressive than others. Right, yeah. And uh, yeah, after that it was very easy. It was like, yeah, all right, come come over, record it, and then, then it was done, at least for Toby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and um, for Toby's and also for Brenton's part, we um, so I wrote the lyrics before and. Um, I told them if they want to, they can change it. So if they say like, okay, no, that's not what I want to say or um, anything else. Um, yeah, they had the opportunity to change it, but they didn't. So um, yeah, we definitely had a vision for how it would sound um, the feature. And uh, the work with Brandon. Um, yeah, we connected with Brandon over Toby, so to say, because um, Alaska was on tour with counterparts in that moment and um, we just asked Toby if he maybe could uh, connect us with Brandon 
and then we drove to Brussels. I don't was it uh, definitely to Belgium. I don't know which city to be honest. Yeah, we drove there and then uh, Toby talked to Brendan and said, "So um, hey." Listen, here are some friends of mine, would you like to talk to them? And um, he was down for talking and we were like the shy boys standing there like, oh, that's Brandon from Counterparts. And um, yeah, then we just asked him if he uh, would do a feature and he said, yeah, send me the song and uh, I did the feature and that's it. So uh, we were really, really happy that he did it. And I think the um, it turned out very cool <laughs> yeah, it certainly yeah thank you um, so uh, after this I know that you guys are going on tour in fall with uh, Munich based band Marathon Man yeah. Yeah. right, right. Um, so what are the what are the, some of the places that you'll be visiting that you love and are there gonna be like any new places you haven't covered where you will cover on this tour yes. <laughs> yes. yes a place we want to come back to I think is Hamburg because yeah. uh, we played there this year and last year and both shows were pretty amazing and there were lots of people there and it turned out like way better than we expected and uh, I don't know about new places but I think we've never been to Munich and it could be a pretty good show because Marathon Man are from there hmm? uh, and we haven't played in Berlin yet which <laughs> <laughs> Berlin yeah Berlin, Berlin. which is a cool city so yeah Berlin people <laughs> Save the date. Yeah, so yeah. true. Berlin is probably gonna be pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, can I have the microphone yeah. for a second? Because um, in fact, we didn't play most of the cities we're playing in uh, fall because it's big cities. And if you're a smaller band, um, especially in Germany, I don't know about other countries, but um, I can talk about Germany. So there's always like those smaller towns that are near some bigger city where the smaller shows take place. And this time we're gonna play the big city, so every city is, um, yeah, we're looking forward to every single concert because it's always like Nuremberg and um, Cologne and Stuttgart, Bremen, so many cities we've never been to, but we, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those cities, those cities are always so much fun to play and everything, especially if you're touring with a bigger band and, uh, you know, yeah. if you're being exposed. Um, but Marathon Man set aside, um, if you guys could tour, and like I, I want to ask each of you, if you guys could go on a tour yeah. with one band, which band would that be and why? Uh, I think I'd go with uh, Converge because I really like, you know, aggression and violence and people that hurt themselves and whatnot. And I really would like to just see that multiple times in a row, obviously. And uh, yeah, converge for me. <laughs> so um, if we're talking about classics, then I'm gonna go with the Misfits because, so there's, there are several reasons because um, first, I'm, I, I can't afford to go to America just to see them and if I could go to America I think I couldn't afford a ticket so if we're touring with them I can see them and um, every, night. every night yeah there we go. Uh, I, I second uh, yeah it's like my favorite band for forever I don't know if I want to meet them personally but I definitely want to see them on stage <laughs> so that's my choice since none of you guys said it, I'm gonna say what's on everybody's minds. Counterparts. Oh, okay. Obviously, because we all love them really much, yeah, I think. I yeah, it's, I think, I mean, listen to our music. I think it's the one band we all have yeah. in common that we love and yeah, so. Yeah. But there's so many bands we love. Like, we all listen to very uh, different bands and we listen to a lot of music. So I could imagine touring with like, 100 bands and every band would be awesome to tour with so um, that's a hard question <laughs> well you know like hard questions interesting answers but also like generally touring is such an experience and everything right especially if you guys are getting into it right now and all that um, but that's so you guys are planning planning for a tour until the end of the year however how does the pariah 2020 look or you guys guys have any plans in mind or, or, or anything that you're excited about or anything you want to try out or go for? 
Ja. <lacht> Gib mal die Leute Ding. Ne, so, um, currently we're writing songs and I think the whole concept of how we will uh, present them to the people will um, we will build afterwards. So at first we have to uh, we'll have to see how the songs turn out and then we can see what we um, can make out of it especially for live shows so um, this is a festival we have we have it's very bright here because the sun is shining but uh, for club shows we have those some lights and stuff for um, some more ambient stuff and um, maybe we're gonna get some more lights or maybe we're gonna turn the lights off in the beginning we don't know uh, let's see how the turn yeah or no light show at all I don't know maybe we maybe we can turn the whole room dark and see what happens when we play some brutal music <laughs> someone, someone, someone's gotta get hurt that's for sure yeah. <laughs> it's all about I getting hurt we isn't it <laughs> we hope so, but it's, you know always nice to be able to say that somebody got injured at your show it's like yeah you know we played there and he broke his leg and it was fucking nuts and no no but I really don't hope that somebody gets injured at our shows. <laughs> as far as I know, nobody broke his leg on one of our shows. Not yet. Maybe. Not, not yet. Not yet. Maybe, maybe when we turn the room dark. Actually, <laughs> our guitar player broke his. No, he, yeah. he tore, tore his ankle somehow, or w w w what is it? Bunt in English? I don't know. So someone broke something, but it was not in the audience. Yeah, it was just. <laughs> it was on stage. It was on, on stage, landing on a what is it? Symbol stand. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Symbol stand. So breaking his bones for us <laughs> yeah but, uh, okay now, 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 now that we're on the topic for the last any crazy moments you remember up to now on touring and by crazy i mean super weird okay. <laughs> like what's the what's the like where you went like okay okay <laughs> <laughs> So we played in Switzerland two times now and both times were pretty crazy I think but the more crazy one was with a band called Modern Tears from Italy which are really really cool dudes and like after the show we all like oh, drank yeah. a little too much and it was like we had a whole house for just two bands I think or it kind of felt like it and there were some stair stunts with surfing on merch box uh, <laughs> Yeah, guitar cases. Yeah, w whatever. And I, I think it's a miracle that no one got hurt like really badly. So yeah, that was like those guys are like really crazy. Yeah. Um, I um, I try to remember something else because it's always like. When you play shows somewhere, you on the on the way back in the car you talk about what happened, and um, it's always like, whoa, what was this? And what's about this guy? I hope he's okay. And um, but right now, I can't remember a single thing. <laughs> I know uh, we had a pretty wild after-show party in Meinertagen, where someone um, had a birthday party with canvas, yeah, and. Um, but the party didn't really start, yeah, so we were just like, okay, what go, uh, what are you, how are you going to do now? So uh, um, we can sit here and maybe go to sleep in an hour, or maybe we just take advantage of the of the fridge that's full of everything. of everything. And um, yeah, so we made our own party. It was not a birthday, but uh, we had the best party in that room, I guess. <laughs> We had some we had some uh, contest with uh, jumping over mic stands and Mitch nearly uh, Mitch nearly impaled himself. <laughs> that was yeah. <laughs> that was uh, wild. Yeah. <laughs> so, if anyone books them, don't leave them alone with a fridge full of booze. Don't or do you know do and they're gonna have better stories. Please leave us alone with a fridge of booze yeah. and the, and a fuck machine. Fog, fog machine. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much for sitting down with me and talking about some stuff. This was the Pariah. Uh, you're watching Blank TV. Uh, we're at Fallen Fortress Open Air. See you guys next time.